If you are new to Blender, or need to make your text the right way, this is the video for you. In this short tutorial, you will learn how to add text in Blender, change the font to anything you need, and fix the topology once we convert it into mesh. So we will solve those points one by one. You can also use the timestamps to look for the video part you want. So to start with this tutorial, we will first clear the scene from those default objects. Then from the add menu, look for the text. And here it is. Now once you add the text object, you will have this letter icon on the settings bar. Click on it to find the text settings. By hitting tab, we can delete the text using the backspace key, and write anything we want. In the text settings area, you can find many options to change everything around your text. Here we have the resolution of the text, and keeping that on the default value works most of the time, so you don't need to change it. We can also use the extrude command on this text, and let me rotate it to see it more clear. So. Here in the geometry tab, we can use this value to extrude the text and give it some thickness. We can also with the bevel depth smooth the edges on this text, and you can see if we zoom in, the edges are sharp, so it might be good to increase this value a bit to lose the sharpness in this object. The rest of those settings are found in most softwares, and with them you can change the alignment or the spacing between the letters. So take your time exploring them to change the font, and you might notice by now, there's a tab called font, if you open it, you will find the main types in any font, the regular, the bold and the italic, and though they separate it here, we only need the first one to import any font we have, and to do that, we click this folder icon, and search for the font, so let us import the first one. And here is how our text look now, with this method you can import as much fonts as you want. Now with the settings, you can go and give it some sheer value to make it look more of an italic style. Now if we want to continue working on this text as a mesh, what we need to do is select the text object, and with the right mouse button, look for convert to mesh. Now this text is a mesh, which sometimes look like a mess if you switch to edit mode, so to fix that in the easiest way, you can just select this text in edit mode, and hit F3 to open the search bar. Then look for the limited dissolve command to clean the mesh. And as you see, with one click, you have something of a much cleaner mesh than what we have a minute ago, and you can from here select any of those faces and work on them. From here on you work on this as any other mesh, move it around, and scale it to fit the scene.
Let us now add a new text, and show you how you can copy and paste external text on them. With this notepad opened, I will write something, then we can select what we wrote and copy it. Once we are inside Blender, and we have this text object, we can hit tab to delete those letters, and up top from the text menu, hit the paste command with the its shortcut near it. We can also use this option called paste file to import a notepad into our text, the only problem with this method is that it import the entire paragraph in one line, however, I don't think it will be much important and you can always import them by other formats to the scene. Now again we will hide the previous objects then add new text, with this one we will learn how to change the writing language. To do that we need to import new fonts that support the language we want. So I have this one called Ming Imperator, and once I open it in my file, I can write with my keyboard and make it into Chinese letters. However if I want to paste letters here it will show up like this, which is not readable, so again you need the right font for the language you need to paste the text on, changing the font to this new one will show the right letters. All those fonts that we used are free and available by a simple Google search, so you might need to organize a file with all the font you need, and just put them aside. So that's it. Hope this been useful to you guys, leave me your thoughts and questions down below or visit me on my DM. And as always, stay sharp, goodbye.